Okay, hi, I am Solomon Emmanuel from Abuja. I live in Kubwa and um, Katampe. Yeah, so what more? So, how was growing up like? It was pretty worse. Like, it's like it was pretty complicated. Yeah, I've been through some stuff that I don't want to talk about anymore sometimes but I just feel like talking about them so I can feel free yeah so uh, okay um, sometimes I cry sometimes I don't do anything I don't feel like doing anything sometimes so let me go back the way it was uh -huh. it started when i was like five year old i started having some kind of complication like that like i always fall always fall every time every day they would, they would just call them hey Solomon fell on the school like they should call mine help me sometimes I fall inside the gutter sometimes yeah well sometimes some kids they push me they push me for no reason because of the way I walk those times where I used to walk those times they always to make fun at me like every time and then the way it started, I hit my head at some kind of an building iron like that. I hit my head, that's why I have this scar on my head, my forehead, yeah. Then, as I hit my head, then everything became complicated, became worse. Like, I started walking different, I started falling like i i can't run like the way other kids run so that i started then i got into i got to primary three that's when i started falling so very much and i started working so different some people think i'm just trying to pretend but they don't know it's real. Some people used to make fun at me when I'm going to school or in class. Sometimes uh, there's this boy that like bullying me every time. Like takes my bag, throw it. I don't know. Yeah, he always throws my bag anywhere he likes, and he like making fun of me because of the way I walk. He used to call me like no stamina. That's what they used to call me before. No stamina. Um, hmm. And it's still that boy that pushed me straight to the gutter. The gutter was so very deep. My neck even fit inside the gutter. It was so very deep. I thank God my friend saved me from inside the gutter because it was so deep I could have drowned inside then could it could have been a story that nobody would know what happened to this kid well I was so lucky that some people helped me some of my friends they understand everything about it a little bit a little bit like that so it's pretty hard going back to those stuff, remembering them, because I can't remember all of them. Yeah. Okay, so when you started, you said growing up was worst. Yeah. Now, what could be the reason? Could it be because you didn't grow up like all the kids, or because of some stuff you faced while growing up? Yes, I faced some stuff. I go into different places. They say that, hey, if I go to this place, 
to work for another person they say that they say if i go there maybe i could work better like others every every time they keep on going there the more the situation gets worse i didn't know how it feels like feels like living during those times i felt like someone without any soul inside of him so that's how i felt like uh, so many so many things get inside my head like i should do this do that the time i stopped working that was like 2016 yeah that's when i got very depressed that's when i got very depressed yeah i was going to suicide every time i think i always say i want to end my life or uh, every time i look at a knife during those times i don't like holding knife every time because i feel like stabbing myself every time sometimes i feel like taking over those like just getting high not to feel anything well i came over that st stuff i was praying every day pray every night during those times it was so hard sleeping and facing some spiritual problems yeah so what led to your present condition well i think it's uh, it's physically and spiritually it's a complicated situation to talk about like stuff really hard for me to explain how it started for me i don't know how it started it's pretty complicated well me for me i think it's my enemies that they're trying to stop me from doing what i do in life they think they think they can stop me from doing what i do well i will keep on doing it because i don't care about other stuff anymore okay when you talk about enemies don't want you to pursue or continue what you do in life what really do you do like i draw really good and i sing sometimes rap sometimes and i can make beats like music beats every time i make them on my phone and i have more stuff i do just a little stuff i do like i always wanted to make a live video like advising people not to commit suicide not to do some evil stuff just focus on what they're doing no matter how the situation is everything will be okay that's what i always wish to do like motivate people give them more knowledge in life and what they should do and they should keep their heads up not to give up okay so what and what has been put or has been done to say that your health is being restored mm, been to the hospital been to some local place like that okay so you've been to the hospital so yes does it really have any hospital name in the process of going to the hospital or have I just someone mentioned that okay this condition is called uh, in the hospital they say they say they don't really know even the, the doctor said they don't really know if it's if it's uh, a disease or stuff hospital yes let me go back to the hospital um during those times went to different hospital went to specialist uh, Quagada, yeah we went there for physiotherapy um, the the doctor sent sent us to the like it was in someone for somewhere else like in Nasoroa yeah that's where we went for that's where we went 
Uh, it said, it said I want, uh, they say they will run a operation on me. So Solomon, do you feel depressed sometimes? And yes. if yes, what do you do? I don't do, do anything sometimes. Sometimes I pray. Sometimes I just uh, look, f talk to my friends, like I'm depressed, I'm like this. Oh, I always tell them I can't really explain them all like that. So I always send voice notes to explain to them good. Sometimes I explain to them through chatting, through texting every time. Um, when I'm depressed, sometimes I just listen to music or I draw. Sometimes I just sit and do nothing. Is so, about drawing? Do you have any imaginary picture you draw or you just draw anything that comes? I just draw anything that comes. Sometimes it comes, sometimes I can't draw them. I can't draw them sometimes. It gets so hard for me to draw them sometimes. Sometimes it gets so difficult because some of my drawings, they come from my dreams, what I've seen and what I've been through and what I what what's going on in my mind yeah my mind it's a really crazy mind so many things inside sometimes I hear voices in my head too much of voices like so many voices in my head some voices will tell me like do this, do that, don't do this. Some voices will tell me, sell your soul to the devil so you can get more fame and you can, so your dreams can come to pass. But I say no, during those times it was really disturbing. There's a time I got to think of it, that yeah, maybe I might sell my soul to do to get fame and to pursue my dreams like maybe i could get really rich that's what the voices always tell me say your soul you get fame get all your wealth you need and everybody will love you well i you know, some good voices always tell me don't do it Everything will be okay. Just follow God. Then everything will be okay. Just keep on praying. So I understand. Okay, so since you stopped school and you've been home, what have you been doing? Mm, I've been thinking now. I've been thinking lately, like what to do. Maybe I will choose doing music or any stuff. I will just continue drawing and doing music and making beats. That's what I wish to do. Yeah, maybe. Okay. So what assistance would you need? I would love to know. I would love to know what other health issues I have. I like run a test to know because I always feel pain in my body in my chest, even my heart. I always feel pain in my heart. So I don't always feel loved inside my heart. I never feel any, I don't know how to love anybody or do any stuff with anybody. But I don't know how I still uh, care for some people, because I don't want some people to feel like that. From the heart stuff, what caused the heart stuff? Um, the herbs I take those times some very bitter meds I used to take those times I say if I take these meds I'll feel okay maybe I'll be able to work sometimes they give some fake promises give some fake promises like um, if you if you go to this place maybe you walk 
and two years later maybe in one year later or maybe in a month but i end up seeing nothing every time i complain i see why every time they keep on lying to me and those times i like to say anything i like like when i'm hurt i say anything comes out of my mouth i i yell out i always shout out everybody sometimes because they don't know what's happening in my mind every time when i explain they always think i'm lying or maybe i'm just making things up just, yeah uh, uh -huh. and during those times at the hospital you know okay saying all this stuff so hard to remember them and to mix them up together well this is the way i talk like i mix things up i just fix them and arrange them together so i can i always try to make people understand because it's hard for people to understand me sometimes the way i talk someone's they say i talk real slow or maybe i maybe i'm making everything up that's why i don't have any friends none of them understand me they always want me for something else or maybe my phone or maybe what i do that's what they always want and i don't like that i always wish to have friends that always understand me like what the way i feel and what i've been through tell them everything so they can understand because it's really hard explaining because it would take days for me to explain to them for them to understand me and know how it started i tell my friends online like my friends some of them are my best friends online they understand me and they always try to help me any way they can maybe advice well i don't really need any advice because i know what's going on and i want other i want to advise others to not like tell them what to do no i just want them to not allow the situation control them because i wish i allowed my situation to take control of me i would have been so very rude to everybody well there are some people like they allowed that situation to turn them into something else they call they become so cold they become so cold they feel like it's not worth it to care about people because nobody even care about you like you don't need anybody you don't need any advice you don't need anybody to help you some people are like that the way they feel they don't always explain they say they don't want to explain because that's the way they feel and they never want to explain me too my situation made me so cold like i don't care for anybody but still on still i still care about people and i care the way people feel sometimes when i get so rude i hate that that's why i don't always get rude to anybody like that unless the person made me mad at something or maybe the person don't understand me always like to say bad things about me most of the friends i make they always say bad things about me they say i lie i always lie i tell them i don't understand how how do i always lie during those times i was very uh, little like when i say some stuff they say i'm lying because i don't know how to say 
say it well so they always think it's a lie everything is a lie nah nah this guy is a liar he's a big liar and he's always greedy that's what they always call me that i don't like giving and that's a lie i'm not like that just that my situation made me different like I don't even care to give anybody anything, but they don't really know deep down in my heart. They don't really know me from inside. I don't really have bad influence on anybody. I always want the best for everybody. Mm -hmm. So aside uh, painting and drawing, like you said, or making beats or yeah. rapping, are there yeah. things you can do personally for yourself? like feeding, bathing, washing, or just stuff? No, I can only eat by myself. But I can't drink water by myself anymore. Because before I used to drink water by myself, but, well, my shoulders became really weak. I can't move my hands really good like that. My shoulders, my arm, yeah. And I can't wash myself no I can't lift myself up when I'm see um, laying lying down I can't lift myself up and they always help me to get up every time sometimes it gets so stressful for them like every time you say you do this do that every time you are stressing me every time they say I'm stressing them Sometimes it gets so hard. Sometimes they don't understand. Like, it's not my fault I'm doing this and doing that. Uh, mm, more. It's so fucking upset that I don't fucking know what to do. Sometimes I feel like ending my life. But I don't feel like ending my life because I know someday everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Jennifer Emmanuel from Kuba, Katampi. So who is uh, Solomon to you? He's my younger brother. So he's one behind me. So it's not that easy for me because growing up with my brother in school. So it's very hard for me. It's falling down, so I feel so painful. Most times I feel that I'm always together with my brother. When I still go out and see my friends with a younger brother, it seems feel somehow for me. So I hardly tell people that I have brothers. So they ask like, where's your brother? It's not around, that he's not coming. And I was like, just forget about this. It's very hard for me to explain. Because it's not easy. I always see that times I used to feel pain. Even in school. If I go out, if I go from school, I always feel pain. Because if I think about it, it's all of pain me. I wish that. It's going to work one day so that we can be going out, play together. Because when I was going up, we always be together in school. And it's very hard for me to see that my brother is known and he's getting you older and older every day. And it makes me feel so. If I be in far place, like it looks like I'm always missing his presence every day. Even I'm schooling in far place, I only feel that he's not okay. I'll be feeling one kind of heart beat that like, is going to fall down, all this kind of thing. I'll be calling my mom that says, how is he? Is he okay? They will say, yes, he's fine. Sometimes it's not okay. They don't tell me because I will feel bad. I can't even come back. If I see work, I'll feel that he will be alone at home. He needs assistance. Like my grandmom, she can't be able to carry him like that, a much like that. So I only stop working sometimes because of the condition of my brother. So I don't feel comfortable at work because of the situation like that. So I only pray that every day that God should just help my brother one day. I should just 
wake up and see my brother walking again because it's very for me it's very i feel okay when my brother is walking because most times it's not easy for me to be carrying him now it's getting bigger and it's not all the strength i have to carry him most times my mom used to assist me or my other brother or any of my friend that i know he's the one that is always helped me out like if you want to bath me here be the one to escort me so it's very very painful for me sometimes i don't always tell anybody about it because i feel almost i will feel crying because so it's very so painful so what's the family doing about his situation we have been to many places different all kind of places because we used to go the last time i went seeing just get tired of it. i just like hey don't stop hey just stop carrying to all this kind of place let us stop. Let me pray that one day God is going to help out. Because all those things, I don't like it. All those some kind of traditional stuff. They will go here, they will spend money a lot that we're supposed to even use it for our personal use. But the thing is just somehow, they will say that this one needs to work. This one needs to help people, to make people to rise again. We we'll go, we we'll spend money again, went to church, worry, different places, just to get help. This one will come and tell ah, this place, this man is doing miracle. Go, let's go there. We we'll go. Still, we we'll go in every day, pray, buy a stock of things from that church, anoint water, hot water, all those things that is very anointed. So we use it for him. Still on still, it's not seen making any proof. Some people say we almost someone that wants to try to help, they will just have something that like said person is late. Something like that. Or one thing that we have different issue. They are trying to help in the way that he died in this one. So do you believe Solomon's condition is spiritual or it is caused by something? I believe that it is spiritual because unlike my brother, he was not having an issue that, that I that I believe that, that this my brother is going to stay like that because he was trying to walk. Thing now get to a point that cannot even walk. That's what I we just wake up, everything just sees. When I was in primary school, I used to do all the things myself. I used to walk, at least it's walking, it used to be lumpy. We always kind of leg up. We feel that maybe it's just doing guy, but it's just feeling pain that particular place. Because the pastor has to come to that this is not ordinary spiritual. That he step on something that is not supposed to step on. Or maybe have, we have somebody that just wants to just make everything very hard for him. So we went to the point they said that it's not ordinary, that it's spiritual. Even when they went to the hospital, they said they're not saying anything. She should just be giving medicine, stop all of that again, still on still, still the same thing. That's the only thing. But I believe that it's going to work again because I'm seeing it when I'm like I used to dream and see that my brother is walking. He's running to us to come and meet me. God, I only pray. And I wake up, I'll just wake up from the sleep. I'll start praying that God, this is what you show me. Just give me the answer, please. That is the only thing I used to pray for. So what would you what would you want people listening or watching? What do you want them like an assistance? What would you want them to assist your brother with? Like financial needs, like money, like more like kind of health or to take him outside to run more tests on him because sometimes he's to complain that he has to pain body pain sometimes he wake up he just feel weak to do anything of his own most of the things is to do for him be it front you be need you give him robot everything it's all it says it and most time i'll put the hand on top of his leg so that i can able to balance well and eat so i just need help that if there's any way that we can carry him to go and do some kind of medical things to him, if he's outside, abroad, in the world within Nigeria, any of them, and that's the only thing I just need from anybody that wants to help. Uh, my spine, we run an x ray on my legs and my spine to know if the bones are okay. Well, they checked my spine, they ran, they ran an x-ray and they found that my spine is really bent like a snake. It's really very bent. Like if I show people, they will see it. It's really bad. Like the first day they showed my mom, my mom started crying. 
Well, me, I didn't feel anything. I didn't even feel any bad. The only thing is, I just feel felt bad that my spine is really bent. Sometimes I always feel pain in my spine. Even right now, I feel the pain. Sometimes it, the pain stopped. It's when the, they told me at the hospital, like, how did I used to, did I, how many hours did I, do I used to sit? I told them I used to sit like for like four hours, no complaint. Well, those times, there was a time that I started feeling pain, like in my back, my spine, sitting down too much was so hard. Those times, I like to lay down, lay down sometimes, just to feel, even at that time, they were still massaging my spine too. But it was so hurtful. Like, they put some uh, sandbags at my legs just to stretch the leg. Well, those times the pain was so very too much. It was so too much like that. They put all those sandbags at my knees and my uh, feet. That's why they always put them at my spine too, just to stretch my back. Well, the pain was so too much, like they were really pressing my chest with those sandbags. So I got uh, an injury inside. So even right now I still have the injury. When I eat too much of spicy stuff, it always hurts me every time. Sometimes my mom looks for some way to calm my chest down, but still on still the chest always feels always feel pain. Always feel pain. During those times I told them I don't want to go back to the hospital again. My they keep on saying, nah, nah, please take him back, take him back. So that they say that they're doing the that doing uh the best for me they just want what's the best for me so i can walk like others so that i won't be stressing people but well now still and still it didn't really really work it didn't really work it, it just made the situation worse every day every day i always complain my knee my legs sometimes they tied my legs with bandages and some kind of a stretcher like that for legs, tied it with. When they tie, when they tie that bandage, they say they will tie it. They, before they will lose it, it will take like four hours, maybe like five hours. I think three hours. Yeah, that's when they say they will re uh, release it. And when they release it, I always feel pain. And even on my leg. I always get some kind of shock, like like this leg right now, this one. I always get some kind of a shock every time. Now, during those times, I said I don't want to go back to the hospital again. Those times, they, they always hit me, like they slap me, like say, no, this boy is a witch, is a witch, like uh, upon all what they've been through with you you still can't walk that's what my grandmother used to say say that i'm a witch like stuff say no 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 this boy is a witch they always call me witch like everything they try it never works and during those times we were going to those native place all those people we met they always die i don't know why Maybe they, they say it's the bad spirit I have, like my demons, like what I'm dealing with, it concerns with the devil. Like the devil doesn't want something good. Well, me, I always say sometimes, well, I found out that I'm a very spiritual person. Like I really take something serious. Sometimes, when I feel, sometimes I just get so moody. I get so moody because of what's going on around me. 
like sometimes I always get bad luck during those times then I when I started praying get to know myself during those times I didn't really know myself when I was growing up it's when I started knowing myself when at 2020 during all those years like 2016 27 2018 2019 if they ask me any question, like people that are trying to help me, uh, I don't really explain anything. I was so very quiet. Some people think I don't know how to talk. Uh, maybe I don't know how to speak anything. Those times I was really very quiet. Very quiet. I can't even explain how I feel or say anything. It was during 2019 I started expressing the way I feel and 2020 that's when I started knowing myself, get to know myself because many people don't really know what they are meant to do in this life. They don't know their self very much. Almost everybody don't know their self. They don't get to sit to ask God questions or just pray or get to know yourself what you can do and what you can't do. I started knowing myself. That's when I know this is what I plan to do. And those times I was very little. Sometimes I say I want to be this person in the future. Before I say I want to be a chef or maybe I want to be this one. But I found out all those dreams were just fake. All those dreams were just fake. Like I wasted my time saying I want to be this. I don't know I have my own talent. My own real talent. When the situation became worse, it's only drawing. That's all I know. I don't read at school, do anything because those times I hit my head on that on all this building iron, all these buildings iron. That iron was really very big and I'm glad I survived that. So many people don't survive that stuff. I was really bleeding from my forehead. That's why I have some kind of a scar on my forehead. Um, those times, uh, those times that I, that I stopped working, uh, it became was like if I want to try some stuff, I can't do them. Sometimes I hurt myself. That's I just fall, hit my face. That I brush my face. I, I got a scar on my face, but now the scar, it uh, vanish. The scar vanish, just like yeah, yeah. I hurt my face so many times. I brushed my 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 knees and I broke my my teeth. The, that was the day I stopped working. Like uh, my friend called me like that day it was a uh, solid day. Uh, she called me like come 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 and eat at our house. Uh, I was so happy I just tried to stand up before he knew it. I just land my face on the ground. Then I just hit my teeth. Then that's how my teeth became so half. It was so hard coping with it. I just say, nah, this is me. This is how I am. This is how I am. I will set myself for the teeth I, the teeth I have. Um, during those times, I, it, I broke my teeth. Um, it was so painful. Like my gum, my gum always, I always feel pain there. And it took time before the wound got to heal. I was getting some kind of a pus in my mouth. All those tiny, tiny boys. And, and I even have a, a gum problem. Like a gum problem. Every time I get bitten by the mosquito, I always get fever, fever at my around my mouth, inside of me. I always get all those stuff, and I became so tired. Like every time, my system is not 
too strong like others. My system is not always strong like others. Because any small bite of mosquito, I get sick, very sick, and I get that fever. I can't, during 2018, it was really big. It was really huge on my mouth. I can't even open my mouth. So do you have any role models you're looking up to? Like someday in the future you want to be like a particular person? Well, I never thought like that. I always thought of being my own self because the music I listen to, the guys are always tell, tell people like, be yourself, don't end up being like me. Or don't, just be yourself. Just be who you are not in a negative way just give positive just give positive vibe like the people i always wanted to be like them like singing giving the word motivation like people to keep on uh, giving hope like if i make it you too you can make it no matter how the situation is uh, the people i always want to do, like meet them but now they're dead. The artists I say are there. They are not uh, not Nigerian mus musician, no. There's one guy they call him Juice Ward. Some people know him. Uh, he died 2019. So I was really sad. Like I always wanted to meet him. Like maybe I can work on a song with him. There's, there's this guy again, XX Tentacion.